Hello, I'm SP from GunnaGeek.com and BetterPodcasting.com, and I just filmed a video of an instructional on how to use the Keurig K575 Keurig to brew a cup of hot cocoa. Now the purpose of the video wasn't actually to give anybody an instructional video to do that. I assume if you have a Keurig K575, you're pretty confident in your ability to do so. The purpose of the video, however, was to demonstrate how to use my new gear to do an instructional video. So first of all, the video was being taken by my iPhone 8 Plus, which is on a tripod on the dining room table and looking over on the Keurig brew station that we have set up here. And the audio was actually taken from a lavalier microphone. As a matter of fact, the JK uh, Mike J lavalier microphone, I believe it's the Mike J044 lavalier microphone, into my Zoom H5 recorder. Now you can see that the lavalier microphone is going into the insert right there, and it requires a 2.5 volt, I believe it's 2.5 volt, power in order to actually record anything. So I had to go into the menu, go into in out, and then turn on the power option for the 2.5 volt power. Now it also can enable phantom power to the XLR ports down below, which you can turn on as well. But this is a singular lavalier microphone stereo that is going into the Zoom H5 uh, XY microphone capsule and recording the audio there. So if you're at a convention and you're trying to get an interview back and forth and you don't have the special left-right lavalier microphones, this will only go into one channel or you'll have to get the uh, power packs to go into the XLR or the adapters to go into the XLR ports to get them both in. Now, if you are at a convention, I would personally recommend the Sennheiser MD46, but these are light. They're very portable, so if you don't want to lug around a big microphone in a pouch or in a case, then a lavalier microphones might be the way for you to go to be more portable to reduce the weight of your gear. So this is just an example of that. Unfortunately, this is a condenser microphone, which is probably picking up a lot of the room echo or reverb around the room. And it's not an ideal filming locations, but it's what we've got. So this is just an example to use what you've got or what's available to you at the moment and enable to get a higher quality of audio into your videos for your YouTube channel, for your uh, explanations, for your product demos, whatever you want to do there. So if you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to put a comment down below in the YouTube, or you can always catch me on Twitter at Stargate Pioneer. And if you like these sort of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, to the Gunna Geek Gear channel or check us out at GunnaGeek.com. We will see you real soon. Thanks for checking the video. Bye!